Bamid bar Numbers 15 And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, and say unto them, When ye are come into the land of your habitations, which I give unto you, and will make an offering by fire unto Yahuwah, a burnt offering, or a sacrifice in performing a vow, or in a free will offering, or in your solemn feasts, to make a sweet savor unto Yahuwah of the herd or of the flock. Then shall he that offers his offering unto Yahuwah bring a meat offering of a tenth deal of flour mingled with the fourth part of a hin of oil and the fourth part of a hin of wine for a drink offering shall you prepare with the burnt offering or sacrifice for one lamb or for a ram you shall prepare for a meat offering two tenth deals of flour mingled with the third part of a hin of oil and for a drink offering you shall offer the third part of a hin of wine for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. And when you prepare a bullock for a burnt offering or for a sacrifice in performing a vow or peace offerings unto Yahuwah, then shall he bring with a bullock a meat offering of three-tenth deals of flour mingled with half a hin of oil. And you shall bring for a drink offering half a hin of wine for an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. Thus shall it be done for one bullock, or for one ram, or for a lamb, or a kid. According to the number that ye shall prepare, so shall ye do to every one according to their number. All that are born of the country shall do these things, after this manner, in offering at an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. And if a stranger sojourn with you, or whosoever be among you in your generations, and will offer an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto Yahuwah, as ye do, so he shall do. One ordinance shall be both for you of the assembly and also for the stranger that sojourns with you. An ordinance forever in your generations as ye are, so shall the stranger be before Yahuwah. One Torah and one manner of law shall be for you and for the stranger that sojourns with you. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yashadael, and say unto them, When ye come into the land whither I bring you, then it shall be that when ye eat of the bread of the land, ye shall offer up a heave offering unto Yahuwah. Ye shall offer up a cake of the first of your dough, for a heave offering, as ye do the heave offering of the threshing floor, so shall ye heave it. Of the first of your dough ye shall give unto Yahuwah, a heave offering in your generations. And if ye have erred and not observed at all these commandments, which Yahuwah has spoken unto Moshe, even at all that Yahuwah has commanded you by the hand of Moshe. From the day that Yahuwah commanded Moshe, and henceforward among your generations, then it shall be, if aught be committed by ignorance, without the knowledge of the assembly, that all the assembly shall offer one young bullock for a burnt offering, for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah with his meat offering and his drink offering according to the manner and one kid of the goats for a sin offering and the priest shall make 
and atonement for all the assembly of the children of Yasharael, and it shall be forgiven them. For it is ignorance, and they shall bring out to their offering a sacrifice made by fire unto Yahuwah, and their sin offering before Yahuwah, for their ignorance. And it shall be forgiven all the assembly of the children of Yasharael, and the stranger that sojourns among them, seeing all the people were in ignorance. And if any soul sin through ignorance, then he shall bring a she-goat of the first year for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for the soul that sins ignorantly, when he sins by ignorance before Yahuwah, to make an atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. Ye shall have one Torah for him that sins through ignorance, both for him that is born among the children of Yasharael, and for the stranger that sojourns among them. But the soul that does aught presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproaches at Yahuwah, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Because he has despised the word of Yahuwah and has broken at his commandment, that soul shall utterly be cut off, his iniquity shall be upon him. And while the children of Yasharael were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Shabbat. And they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto El Moshe and El Aharan and unto all the assembly. And they put him inward because it was not declared what should be done to him. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, The man shall be surely put to death. All the assembly shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the assembly brought him without the camp and stoned him with stones, and he died. As Yahuwah commanded at Moshe, and Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, and bid them that they make them tzitzit in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon these tzitzit of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you a zitzit, that ye may look upon it and remember at all the commandments of Yahuwah and do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a whoring. That ye may remember and do at all my commandments and be holy unto your Elohim. I am Yahuwah Elohechem, which brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim to be your Elohim. I am Yahuwah Elohechem.